Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. I got to get better posture. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Hey guys, Marco here and welcome back to the channel. I know I've been missing for a little bit, but I've been busy, man. We're in the busy season here in South Florida and things are just getting started. But today I am fortunate enough to be working with Chloe. Well, I'll link down below. We are Hi. shooting out here three looks in beautiful Key Biscayne, one of my favorite locations. And we are testing out this guy, the Nikon ZF. I just got this camera, paid with it with my own money. This is not a Nikon sponsored video, but I've been in the market for a backup camera. You saw my previous video with the Fuji, uh, what is it, X106? Six. And uh, I love the camera, not a knock on Fuji. Your colors are on point. The camera is really responsive. There was nothing really wrong with the camera other than it's too small for me. And so um, I decided to give this one a try and I am really loving this one. Again, it has that vintage feel. The colors are on point, um, but it keeps up. The body's a little bit bigger and it also has the flip screen. More importantly, I'm able to use Sony lenses on this camera. There's, you can buy this adapter, I think it was like less than $100, and it allows me to use all my Sony lenses, which means it could really become a backup camera because now I can go to a job and take my usual lenses, my A1, and this guy as a backup. And then for all these YouTube videos that you guys are seeing, I'm, I'm gonna be using this camera now because I'd rather have a $2,000 camera out here than a $6,000 Sony A1. So today's focus is gonna be testing this guy, putting it through the ringer. I'm gonna be shooting front lit, back lit, different lighting scenarios, just to see what the dynamic range does. And of course, Chloe, I know she's gonna knock it out of the park. Guys, if you have any questions, please put them down below. Happy to help you guys any which way I can. And with that being said, let's roll right into the video. Oh, this is great. Awesome. So again, just kind of chilling, not even worried about this camera. Good. 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 I think I found my new favorite camera, guys. Beautiful. I'm really tight on your eyes here. Gorgeous. All right, so initial feedback on the Nikon ZF. I'll get this right. I love the way this camera feels. All right, we tested this Fuji X100 VI, not a knock on the Fuji, but it was just too small for my fat fingers. That's my problem, that's not Fuji's problem but I love the way this camera feels. Also, it's full, full frame. And then also, I love that slap. I, it, maybe it's just because it's nostalgic. It reminds me of when we had a DSLR cameras, right? And they're still around, but I now switch to mirrorless. But the way this camera slaps, whenever you pull that trigger or that shutter, it just feels nostalgic. I don't know how to describe it. You kind of have to try it for yourself but it's awesome and I miss that. The, the one thing about this camera is it makes me want to shoot and that is important, at least to me, right? It doesn't feel like I'm doing a job where the A1 that's in the car, that camera is screams, let's go to work. This camera is more of a camera that, you know, I can hang out and then just whip it out and get some really dope shots. So keep that in mind. And Chloe's like, shut up and shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> awesome. I'm very impressed. We're just shooting environmentals. Uh, the lens of choice is the 40 mil F2 and the camera's just keeping up and I'm loving it. This is great, Chloe, good. Let's sit up a little bit. Actually, let's sit the other way, facing the light. There you go, perfect. That's great. 
Good. Yes. I'm really loving what these colors from the camera look like. I did tweak the profile a little bit. Beautiful. Drop that right shoulder just a little bit so I can see a little bit, little bit more of your neckline. Good. That's it. Bend the elbow a little bit. That's it. Perfect. Bring the knees up a little higher. Good. Right there. Eyes. Gorgeous. These are sick. I love those. That's it. Gorgeous. Good. Good. I'm shooting all manual, um, although I probably should try this auto, but I, I want to kind of be more in control of this camera. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Let's, oh, let's go ahead and have it. I know I'm traumatized from the Fuji. Let's go have a seat and then, yeah, perfect. Yeah, just maybe kind of standing up on that, you know? That's it, gorgeous. Awesome. Gorgeous, enjoy the sun. Less posy, maybe straighten out the legs a little bit. That's it, gorgeous, that's it. Let me go wider. Yep, and straighten out the legs. I know, I see this is this this thing, right? I'm I know, I'm guilty of saying that. But now we're like, hey, it's okay to keep your legs nice and straight, you know? It's okay, let's just face that way for a couple. Beautiful. Eyes here, gorgeous. Eyes here, gorgeous. That leg's coming up again. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I'm focused on the back of the, of the suit now, good. And guys, you see, I am telling Chloe exactly what I'm shooting. Hold that hand right there. I'm telling her exactly what I'm shooting. And that, that way she knows where my camera's focused. Hold on, we just lost the light. Here we go. Gorgeous, let me go wider on that, hold that. Uh, eyes to the left, head to the left. Good. All right, let's go through these photos and let's see if we want to get anything else, but I think we knocked out this look. You gotta be careful. So cool. uh, I know it's hard, especially if you're facing the sun, you're gonna get the wrinkle face, like, yeah, you know? I always get that. And that's okay, you know? So we're gonna go back to that because the, the shots that I saw, you had a little bit of a, I'm facing the sun kind of look. Yeah. But I love this, this that's is really good. so cool. It does look like you're in an island. Doesn't look like she's in a cubist game. Uh, guys, pro tip, I see this all the time when you're working with models, especially in the sun, if you're in the swimmer space, I see this all the time. You know, and it's, it's, it's okay sometimes to do so, but be very careful when you're introducing products to the skin, specifically oil. I see a lot of photographers spraying models with a lot of oil, which oftentimes is like a hair product, like a sheen. She's in the sun, guys. So if you introduce an oil, it's only gonna accelerate the, the, the burning of the skin, the, the, that tan. My, my goal here with Chloe is make sure she's protected actually. I wanna make sure that she's using the right product for her skin so she's not getting a sunburn because we're gonna be here for two, three hours. And so the last thing I want is for her to go home with a sunburn. And so if I'm looking for that shine, I'm gonna use a product that actually protects her from the sun, uh, but it gives her that shine. And I use uh, these uh, sunscreens from Sunray. I'll tag them down below, check them out. They're amazing and they're natural. So this, this is a really good product. All right, ready? Perfect, and then eyes out. Beautiful. I'm just going for body details here. And then maybe straighten out the other leg. There you go, perfect. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, pro tip. Uh, one of the things, I mentioned this in a previous video, um, I shoot direct light, and so what's happening today, we getting, it's windy and there's a lot of clouds coming by, so the sunlight keeps changing. I'm gonna switch to aperture priority, and I'm just gonna put it at like one third stop over, and that way I don't have to worry about sunlight coming in. The camera's just gonna do its best to meter as close as possible. Good job, Corey. That's it. Hold it right there, let me come in for a wide one. 
Awesome, this looks great. And I'm gonna go for a very direct glide. Hold it. All right guys, so we just finished the first look and uh, I'm gonna do something that I recently discovered. Shout out to Cam Mackey who actually picked up this camera and did a video on it and that's where I learned about this. So you can actually use Sony lenses on these Nikons. So I'm gonna break out the lens that I, sometimes I rave about, but then sometimes I don't like it. But anyway, this is a really good portrait lens. It's a 7200 from Sony. So this thing will actually do full autofocus and it supports all of, all of the features, um, IS, all of that with this adapter. I'll link it down below, you guys can check it out. Uh, but yeah, I can't take credit for this. Actually, Cam Mackey uh, did a video and that's where I learned about it. And now I can use the 7200 f2.8 from Sony on this body. <clears throat> I, I also have the 2470, um, but I wanted to show you guys the 40 mil because I think it's a really good lens. If you want like a, a nice little all around, you can, you know, you can do portraits with a 40 mil. Like I'm sure the comments are gonna be down and down below and just kind of talking smack about it. But man, you can do portraits with any lens guys. Like there's, there's, a, there's a guy out there that does portraits with a fisheye and he's photographed Barack Obama. He's photographed Putin. Like he's photographed really, really, really famous people. So don't let anyone tell you what to use. It's your art. It's your work. Do whatever you like. So yes, this is normally the portrait lens, but you can shoot portraits with whatever, man. It's whatever you like, you know, I'm very impressed guys. This, this camera is slapping. It eats as the young kids say these days. Nobody has ever said that. <laughs> it eats. Nobody. Are you serious? Dude, I hear it all the time. I have kids, man. I hear it all the time. No, you're full of It shit. slaps. <laughs> it slaps. Good. Chin up a little bit more if you can. Too far. And then eyes on the camera, good. Good. Oh, those are so good. It slaps. Insane, it slaps. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping that one in. Good. The idea, guys, is give the model something to do. Watch the right leg, keep them straight. Give the model something to do. Good, we got him. Awesome. Oh, good. Guys, this camera. Is insane. And <laughs> what does it do? It slays. It slays. <laughs> it's a new word, I learned it today. It slays. it slays. When I'm shooting environmentals, I like to put stuff in the foreground, anything. It could be anything, it could be a tree, it could be anything. It really adds dimension to the photos. Awesome. It's great, come here, take a look. I didn't want to zoom in in there because I'm like, uh, yeah. it's gonna be a big butt shot there that nobody, it's not appropriate. Nobody asked for. Nobody asked for. Awesome, looks good. Wow, she's killing it today. Good job, wet the hair, wet the hair, have fun. And so guys, what I'm looking for here is obviously not to get bit by a snake first, but what I'm looking for is I'm gonna put some, some of these rocks in the foreground as Chloe's in the, in the background over there. And you guys can see what this starts to look like. I, I've, I haven't told her to pose. I'm just asking her to move, change, adjust, stay right there, adjust, and then I'm shooting through all of this. And this is why I wear water shoes. All right, you're good right there. Let me, uh, let's wet the hair in the front a little bit. It's definitely gonna help with the wind, you know? Go straight leg a little bit. 
Let me get the sun in your face. That's better. Make sure my pockets are empty. That's much better. Good. Wow. Perfect. That's great. Separation gorgeous. Good. Love the water. Let me get some detail shots. Let's bring some water on your torso. What? Let's bring some water on your torso. I'm going to get details. Got it. All right, let's go into the sand area and just lay down. Just lay down like you're grabbing some sun. Uh, okay. Facing that way. Yeah. Uh, belly down, belly down. Sorry. And guys, so here I'm just grabbing these environmentals, right? I want to make it look like she's just out on the beach for a day. Okay, this looks great. Awesome. All right guys, that's it for today. We knocked out what, three, four looks? Four. Four looks. Uh, and we had a lot of fun. Um, it's a windy day. The wind's gonna do what it's gonna do. That's just South Florida. Unfortunately here in South Florida, either you get a beautiful sunny day, but it's gonna be windy, or you get no wind and it's just cloudy. So. This is why I don't mind working in the mornings. I love working mornings. What a beautiful way to start your day than on the beach. But again, the start of the show, this camera just knocked it out of the park. Not you guys, you guys did, did an amazing job. I'm actually, might actually try out your more professional bodies. I mean, I'm not converting. Sony, please don't, don't get your all butt hurt about it. I'm not converting. But I, I haven't shot Nikon before and I, I was very impressed. This will definitely be a backup camera. I talked about it earlier that I'm able to use the Sony lenses and that's a huge plus for me at least. Chloe, what do you think? What was your favorite look? My favorite look was definitely the last look we did. It was this crochet bikini. It was adorable. It was from the spot that he's going to tag below. And uh, tell them where they can find you. They can find me at Front Management under Chloe Leonic or Instagram Chloe E. Leonic. Awesome. I'm going to link her down below, guys. Give her a follow. Also, if you follow her and you engage, tell her where you found her. I, 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 it's always good to understand kind of where our traffic is coming from. And if you found her as a result of this video, just give her a shout. Let her know, hey, I saw you on Marco's video. That would go a long way. Of course, if you appreciate the content, if you learn anything, or if you have any questions, please put it down below. I certainly would appreciate a thumbs up, like, and subscription. We're trying to hit 50K and then on a road for 100K by the end of the year. Um, I think that's all I got for the day. I'm gonna go get some breakfast with the crew, and uh, yeah, peace, thanks for subscribing. Bye guys. Until the next one.